Beedy beedy bo beedy me ma mo meedy beedy What's going on peoples of the world? Welcome back to your next installment of As the Wheel Turns. I will be your host once again flying along at uh, well, 47 miles an hour at the moment. We can do better than that. But I'm enjoying myself at this slow rate of speed. It's late in the afternoon now. It's 444. Hey. Ow! You see that black smoke rolling? He was putting the coal to it. He was in a hurry. I bet he's going home faster. Objects in the road, debris, debris, flying cows, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, no, there is no tornado in the forecast, but there is some heat in the forecast. I'm heading back to where, where the sun don't shine. No, I'm not going there. I'm headed back to the truck because I'm tired of riding for the day. I'm not really tired of riding. It's just starting to get late, right? Oh, look, it's a motorcycle shop. Hmm. Well, we're not going to stop there. Squirrel, squirrel. Jalapeno coladas. Now getting lost in the rain. You're not in the tofu. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I get, I get, I break out in song like that. I don't know why. I'm just retired. I'm not right. I'm not right. But it's a beautiful day. We I joy ride, I was joy riding out through the countryside today, all over God's green earth. And uh, but now I'm gonna take the short road, I mean the straight road, right back to where I need to be. You can come with me. I mean, it's like I said, it's just 446, 446 now. We're two minutes in. But it's time to watch a little television and relax. I don't have a load yet, and I don't suspect I'll get one till in the morning. But I'm not going to load the bikes up because I might decide to go riding again tomorrow. If I don't get a load, I probably will. I'll we'll have to wait and see. It doesn't matter. I mean, I need to get a load to Seattle. But sometimes it's just a little bit slow. Uh, I don't know. You know, I, I can't. I can't ever predict the state of freight in the world today. It, I mean, there are plenty of tools that will help you pr predict things, but not so much in my industry. But uh, you know, I, I bet there is a formula that someone has worked out that deals with the amount of flight volume across the country at any given time. However many man hours uh, or engine hours, you know, they're, they're, they're changing these things out regularly for maintenance and stuff. So I bet there is a formula somewhere. And if you can look at the amount of flight volumes, you can tell. All right, that right there just kind of told me. I will go and I will do a study on flight volumes at any given time. How many different engines have to be reworked after so many flight hours, right? And then I can figure out. Now, most of the engines we deal with are GE engines. We do haul some Pratt & Whitney's, but not a lot of them. But... I could figure that out because I'm a freaking genius. Y'all know it. Y'all y'all have heard that before, right? Oh yeah, Tubo, you're a genius. Uh, yeah. I don't always believe my own rhetoric though. If we can get back before the sun, because we are going westerly bound on in on highway 62, state highway 62. Then the sun will not be in our, our eyes. And actually, I think I, I can beat the sun. I don't think it's more than 40 or 50 miles or something. Because that was 50 that we was just in Hillsboro. 
it might be 50 miles. Uh, that's an hour. Yeah, well, it might be more because I, you know, I drive slow. I'm a granny grunt driver. But I don't, I don't mind. What kind of driver are you? Or do you like to go fast? Or just ride? Everybody's different. Hey, I wonder if I can find me a corn crib or something to take some pictures at. Or when I say a corn crib, I mean a silo. Is what I'm actually talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Or some industrial stuff. Or a broken down barn. Or a nice barn would be good too. We'll see. I don't think I've been up this road. Well, I was on this road earlier. But only a, for a short piece of it. I may not have been on this highway ever before. And it's a perfectly good road, as you can see. But I'm obstructing traffic, if not justice. I do that sometimes when I'm lollygagging and looking around. Looking for deers and skunks and such. That's a nice barn over there I could use, but people would freak out if I pulled up on their property. They'd be like, what are you doing over there, mister? They wouldn't say mister, they just start cussing me probably and I wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't do that to them though. I'd just be like, uh, can I help you? Can I help you? I've, I've had people pull in my driveway and do strange things before and I find it it's quite entertaining. Sometimes you gotta run them off. Sometimes you don't. Usually once they realize they're in the wrong place, they they want to go pretty quick. As they should. They, they shouldn't be hanging out with me. I might be Hector Laughter Hell. Winchester, 12 miles that away. We're not going to Winchester. I've owned a few Winchesters. Change of the world. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a deer sign. Watch out for deers. Rent a sign that says deer crossing. Oh, they ain't gonna do that. I like that tall grass over there, that ornamental grass. I've never had any, I've planted some and I've never had it. I actually planted it by seeds and it didn't come up. And I've never bought any, just bought it at Lowe's and stuck it out in the ground. Maybe I should. I got, I got just the place for some of that stuff. I think it seems I bought some one time and it never got more than knee high. It must have been a dwarf. Sometimes that happens. I bought magnolia. <clears throat> I bought these magnolia trees. Well, it said magnolia bushes. Alright. So I bought them and I planted them exactly like the direction said. Well, them damn things turned into magnolia trees. Not the kind that get huge, but uh, Mary Jane magnolias I, that flower all the time. I, beautiful flowers. I love those those trees. But it said a bush, so I planted it too near unto my house. And I'm not going to take them down. They're they're too old now. But I didn't know they were going to turn into trees. Can't believe the directions on everything that you read at the Lowe's Home Improvement Store. Oh, there's another nice little barn. Yee, I like willow trees. Willow, You know, willow trees suck a lot of water. If you have a wet spot in your yard, stick a willow tree out there and it will suck up moisture like a, like a cypress tree, actually. And willow trees, you can just stick them in the ground. Uh, when I say stick them, I mean like break, break off a, ban a branch and stick that branch in some water or in some soggy ground. Uh, if you got somewhere you want to suck up water, just stick it in the ground there. And it will take root and grow. They actually use willow for rooting hormone for other plants. They just, they just you know, shape it up and, and, and uh, powder, make it into a powder. I know, you probably didn't know that. It's some good information in case you ever want to 
grow anything that don't got no roots. I know. Where did I come up with this crap? Google, I told y'all, Google. Life is all about the Google. If you're not on Google, get on it. You'll learn stuff. Okay, a mosquito pit. I don't think I'd want a mosquito pit like that on my property. I read that mosquitoes, uh, and I don't have the right numbers here, but it was like mosquitoes only travel 100 yards in their lifetime. I find that very interesting. Now, when they say travel, do they mean traveling on their own volition? What if the wind blows them? A good stiff breeze could blow the hell out of some some mosquitoes, right? And so, it seems like it would be hard for diseases to be spread rampantly by mosquito bites or whatever. Because they're not going nowhere. Unless they're in a stiff breeze. Oh, that's tired. Alright. We we I'd be making strange noises sometimes, guys. I wonder if I had the Tourette syndrome. I, I, I've never broken out and started yelling, Ball Buster! Cunt liquor! Or anything like that. But I do make some strange noises. Maybe I just like to have fun. Or something, I don't know. It's still pretty damn hot out here. I was expecting it to cool off more by now, but it has not done it. Not at all. Oh, this is a nice little curve here. Let's lay into it. Drag some foot pedals. No, we're not going to drag. No foot pedals. Nope. But we will slow down a little bit. As the law demands. Just making our way the only way I know how. That's just a little bit more than the law will allow. That was the best thing about the Dukes of Hazard was the song. I couldn't stand the Dukes of Hazard. I didn't care for the Duke boys very much. I didn't like Uncle Jesse. I didn't like Roscoe P. Coltrane or Boss Hog. I didn't even like Daisy Duke. I thought she was pleasing to look at, but that's about where it ended. She just didn't do anything for me for some reason. It just seemed so... It was like wrestling. It just seemed so fake. People don't actually act that way or feel that way or be that way. You know, even if they are Baldwin, Luke, Duke. But I thought Starsky and Hutch was pretty stupid too. But I like their car. Well, they both had good cars. General Lee was cool. Starsky's hot car was cool. Very cool. I love the Gran Torino. Probably never going to have a Gran Torino or anything like that. But I got a red motorcycle. There, as you can see right here. Here is the Redhead Re... I always want to call it the Redhead Redemption. But that's a game. But this is the Redhead Reject. That's right. The Redhead Reject. With a purdy bridge. Oh look, my shirt says Adidas. You can see it right there. Yeah. Oh, there's a... See, that was... But there's a house right there. I can't pull up there and use their silo either. I need uh, somewhere to make some thumbnails at. Take some pictures or something. I'll find somewhere. There's another silo over there. See, everybody used to have their own silos. Nowadays, they don't have silos no more. Because when they get their corn picked up, they take it away. They ain't storing it themselves. Or, or the, maybe they're storing it at bigger farms. Well, yeah, because used to, everybody had little farms. You know, they had 40 acres or whatever. Now, now they don't. They've all sold out to the bigger farmer or let the big farmer you know lease the land it's that it's industrialized everything goes to industrialization in time i mean look at 
look out in Las Vegas, look in Nevada, right? Even the prostitution is industrialized now uh, compared to what it used to be. Now, it's, it's not like they're stamping out prostitutes left and right out of a, a shop somewhere, but uh, you know, I'm saying they, they've they made it so that they can get every, every penny out of it. That's called business. Business grows. Ain't gotta like uh, the progression of events, but that's what happens. Just part of it. I'll stop you whining and get over it. I know Grandpa bought the farm and then he lost the farm. and That's just how it is. You know, everything that comes around goes around more than once. It's a, it's a cycle of events. Even our world and the position it's in it always gets torn back down in time. So in time, it will be torn down and we'll start all over again. We just won't be here to see it, probably. It'll be our grandkids, or great, 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 great grandkids, or something like that. And you know, the pussification of men is real, is real in my opinion. We, we have changed so much and we are much softer and more tender and baby-fied than we was a hundred years ago can you imagine the state of affairs in another 200 years I mean just look ahead where will we be do you think that that if you look at somebody you just look at them you might get a ticket and uh, well kind of kind of like on that uh, Wesley Snipes and movie where where Sylvester Stallone went back in the past and everything to get Wesley Snipes and they would give you a ticker, ticket for impure thoughts and everybody was eating at Taco Bell I think that's the future of the world if something don't happen to tear down They do the next edition of As the Wheel Turns oh, What's going on back there? What's going on back there? Schools out. It's not for the summer. They've already went back to school. Yeah. 